owning an Alaskan Malamute. Breeder Recommendations Just as with any dog breed, it is important that you consider a number of factors. Take the Alaskan Malamute for a prime example. This breed is simply gorgeous but also very strong, gentle type. For instance, with the Alaskan Malamute, you will have a fine family pet that generally does excellent with kids. However, if you were to run into an animal at the park, or even own another dog, you might see a different side to the Malamute that you do not like. Buying this particular breed means weighing the pros and cons carefully. Without doubt, this breed is loving, gentle, faithful, and kind but on occasion, you might get your hands on a specific dog that is more assertive and possible aggressive. Start by realizing that this breed was initially bred to pull heavy sleds long distances in freezing cold weather. Because of this, the Alaskan Malamute is extremely strong with high energy endurance. Additionally, the breed is considered a highly intelligent breed, one with independent traits. Things to know before getting an Alaskan Malamute. You definitely need a fenced-in backyard area where the dog can run and play on a daily basis. Even if you take the Malamute to the park for exercise, it is not the same as being let out just to run and roam. Remember, as your Alaskan Malamute puppy begins to grow, you can be sure to see some ruddiness. Allowing the dog to roam, play, and run, is an excellent way to calm him down so you can train him. In other words, the Alaskan Malamute is not a good choice for an apartment dweller. Although the Malamute can be kept indoors, remember this breed sheds heavily so you will always be dealing with a hair issue. Now, if you live in a region where temperatures are warmer, the dog will do fine although it will definitely prefer a cooler temperatures. The optimal solution for the Alaskan Malamute is to own your own home, have a large space for playtime, and live somewhere that has a cooler climate. Another consideration for buying the Alaskan Malamute is the time needed to raise this breed. These puppies are so adorable that it is easy to take one home without giving much thought to anything else. The truth is that raising a big breed dog such as the Alaskan Malamute requires dedication. With this breed, you might be faced with some strong-headedness. Therefore, this time will not only help you bond with the dog, but it will also help to establish that you are the dog's master. Finally. Even if you will be the person in the home to take care of the dog, not everyone likes or feels comfortable around a large breed dog. Take children for example, while the Alaskan Malamute typically does quite well with children, the younger the kids, the more they too would need to be taught the right and wrong way for treating an animal. You might also have parents in the home, a husband or wife, or an older child that simply does not like bigger breeds. Before buying an Alaskan Malamute, Talk to this person to determine where the apprehension is coming from and whether anything can be done. Finally, as mentioned, the Alaskan Malamute sheds. There is no other way to say it, the breed sheds. This particular dog has a thick, woolly light coat underneath and then a medium to long coat of coarse hair on top. As you exercise your dog or take him through the hot summer months, you can expect to have lots of hair. Sometimes. Just bumping against your dog or having him wag the tail is all that is needed to see small hairs fly. Now, some people just accept this as part of being a pet owner. For these individuals, a little extra time and a great vacuum cleaner will do the trick. On the other hand, if you or someone else in the home cannot stand hair, then perhaps the Alaskan Malamute is not the right choice.